like Metagross with Solar Beam would be fantastic, but do we have, what is it, a White Herb? Power Jump, Herb. Power, power Herb yeah. jumps, the, jumps the skip a turn. Like, unless we get that, it's yeah. not worth it. Yeah. I'm going to throw on the combat. You work away. So, um, so other ones that, so basically there's an even mixture of uh, Pokemon that are completely new, uh -huh. in, in a sense where they're, they could have been like a, sec a second stage initially, and now suddenly you have these kind of one-off Pokemon that just uh, exist for a certain reason, for a condition. Um, so, I'll give an example. Um, there's apparently one, there's apparently a Donphan form. Love it. Right? There's a past form, yep. and there's a, pre a future form for both, for the same okay. Pokemon. So they're using that as, say, as an example of like, oh, see, so you can diverge into the different paths based on yes. past okay. and future. So are there some that only have a past form? Uh, yes. So, so like you'll only have the past Jigglypuff, uh, yeah. or you'll only have the future Clefairy. Yeah, so I think like I think Baby's, if I'm going like the Baby's first Paradox form will probably be Jigglypuff or Scarlet. Okay. And future uh, Delibird for future. Okay. So apparently it's supposed to be ice flying again still, or ice, um, I think it's, it's keeping us ice tight, but I think it's supposed to be ice steel. Okay. So, that's one thing. I think, um, the Donphan forms, Donphan is one of the two Pokemon that has both a past and future form. Okay. And the other one is Volcarona. Lovely. Um. Oh, I do love Volcarona. Yes. It's, um, it's one that could have been a legendary. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I think I think it is the kind of the, the real pseudo of uh, of Gen Five because just the typing, is, uh, the typing and moves alone. Uh, it kind of seems more like the Gyarados, is. as in the first form is incredibly weak. It's the Gyarados, yeah. it's the Noivern, it's the. Actually, that's true. Actually, yeah, you, you raise a good point there. Okay, you want to see who the who the boss is? Go on. This burglar saying like, ah, you're gonna face the boss. We're all okay. burglars facing around taking the place. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Laxu. It's Delta Axu. What? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Aww. Let's catch it. <laughs> if we can. Yeah, fuck it, let's try it. We haven't, we haven't had any in the hatch yet lately, lately so... We forget yeah. that this is meant to be an egg lock. <laughs> Look, we had, we had in the last session that we played, we had a lot of hatching. That's true, so yeah. We're happy to go with the... What, like, if we have... Keep to a If we have a plot-heavy episode yeah. where we don't rely on catching stuff. Well, well funny you should say that as well, but um, the... Uh, as when you say we actually well, smashed the rock there earlier on, and mm -hmm. uh, out came a helix fossil. So we have something else to hatch now as well. All praise Lord Helix. Or all Lord Helix, giving us free Pokemon. Absolutely. The praise be unto him. He giveth unto us so much. Yes. And ask so little. And so little. Of us. <laughs> 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 but um, but there's other forms as well. So like a lot of them are basically everything, um, that's a uh, past and future forms are dual types. Okay. And what essentially is that. So, so this allows us to get the a lo load of these uh, blank normal types off of the cable at this stage. That's, that's the logic, I think, yeah. Um, is this going to be something that is only permissible in the Sword and Shield games? Like, mm. I, 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 One thing that I would worry about is how much content is going to be gated behind each particular game that'd be, the, that'd, be my, uh, that'd be my fear in the sense that it's, a, oh, it's a cave here. So uh, oh. like, we're, we're not going to get Megas anytime soon yes. again. So we're not going to get Mega Altaria for a long time. So Dragon Fairy is yeah. gone. True. Which um, is a pity. It is a, it is a pity. A bit of a pity. Yeah. But like, um, if if terrestrialized versions are like limited just to this game, like yeah, Dynamaxing yeah. is. That's then true. Yeah. We could stand to only have these things in one game, which which is, is ideal, a, which no. is a worrying precedent. Yeah, it is. Um. The way I see it, the way I look at it is that I think these are things. These are little wild cards are thrown into the into the competitive. Uh, who are these fucking nonsense? Sorry, football, football, football. Football, football, football. Yes. Um, but I uh, no, I think I think these are things. There, these are little wild cards are thrown into the competitive play. I think okay. they did the same because I think it still served the same purpose as the uh, as the Ultra Beast did. As I say, like here's stupidly top heavy Pokemon that you can use competitively. Let's see if you can make a make a get a tune out of them because like. Like the ones like the like the Celestia and stuff like that having like these ridiculous fucking defense stats. Yeah. You know, and typing that should really suffer them, but like if you start sweeping with ones, you're getting like special attack boosts and all the stuff. Celestia is one I've never used. Now Cartano was a fucking beast. Yes. But he was a glass cannon. Exactly. Like that... if if anything outsped Cartana, Cartana was dead. Oh, exactly, and that's the, that was the thing. Like, um, but it was Buzzwole and it was Cartana were both. Mm fantastic to use yeah in a team mm -hmm. if you could um 
So I don't know, uh, Celesteelo's always, like, it just looked too bulky yeah. to be of any use. Zerkatry was another one that I remember getting uh, a lot of, like, Guzzlord because of the HP bulk. Oh, yeah. So, so anyway, that, those are examples of the of things. So I think they're, for a competitive play, these are essentially wild cards to throw in because they could have different movesets, they're going to have different abilities. Um, I think, as far as I know, I think they said there's going to be, they have a beast boost-like ability for all the Paradox Pole forms. All of them will have it. I think so, yeah. I think it's, it's universal. Okay. Um, now, I could be wrong on that, and that could be just the leakers like chatting shit as well, so we don't know. But I think the idea is that, um, so the you know the uh, the example that's being used in terms of the Paradox forms and how the what the step up is like. So you know the the dragon Pokemon that got revealed that had the uh, the the wheel basically on it by itself. Like yeah, the um, pre Evo for the legendaries, ah. basically the Nebby. The Nebby. It's not the Nebby. Oh, was it not? No. So the idea is that that is a standalone dragon Pokemon by itself, right? That, that, is that just... looks like a pre-evo of the two main legendaries. Yes. This is where this is what what how the gimmick is different, because essentially it'll be I think the the inference at least from where I'm looking at it, with knowledge of how what this game is doing. So that's uh, I think it's like Dragon uh, something. Zard, whatever it is, anyway. Mm. Dracozoid. Dracozoid. Dracozard? Yeah, whatever it is. I don't know what it's called, but yeah. Mm, Freakazoid. Fuck it. Um, so that is the, obviously, the the norm, the present day form. Okay. Whereas Koryodon and Moriodon are the past and future paradoxes. So this is what this Pokemon would be like in the past. This is what it's like in the future. Okay, so, but. The, no, forgive me if I'm starting to like Egypt here. Mm. They properly look like they are further form to it as in that's that following the it's bigger spikier and with angrier eyes that is a, i think that has that is the kind of the point is the fact that they they look so different so your assumption would be yes absolutely it should be you know whatever form they look it like is. they evolve they look they evolve but the actual reality is that these are they, these are paradox forms okay. and that's where you this is where you get it from now why have you uh, put our best friends into the left on scent because james we have new Pokemon to hatch. We do, but these are our best friends. Don't worry about it. They're only there temporarily. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I hear you worrying about it. Stop worrying yeah. about it. I told you to stop worrying about it. Now, I think these are all hatchable, as far as I know. But I think we caught some of these before we stopped recording. I think so. Yeah, so we have uh, five, actually, to, to okay. hatch. I'm happy to go with that. Hmm. All right. Praise Helix. Praise Helix. Praise be unto him. Yeah. So we go out and we get the egg tokens. Let's see, do we have a five? We do have five. We okay, do have five. Right okay. Then. Now then. So, so I think I I took you, lunch on... yesterday, so yeah. I'll let you take first steps. No no, I've i was um I did all the grunt work from the, the great re retcon. So I'd say James you can be on egg duty for the time being. Okay, let's go box four. Yeah. And let's go with a column three row four. So that one there? No, all the way around. Down there? No, down. Down there? Yeah. Incinerator. Okay. You want Incinerator. Okay, that is going to be absolutely going to be a fire type. Bam. Is that going to be a Delta fire type or not? I'd say we could have a Delta type there, yeah. Um, let's see who else we have then. So. Okay, we're going to pick the next one. Mm. Alright, you work, right? Alright, so let's go box seven. Mm -hmm. And let's go the bottom left one. Bottom left, okay. And we have... Temptation. Okay. Okay, I'm going to say that's a goth tell. Possibly. Like that, the that, make, that would make line. sense, yeah. I don't know why that is jumping out to me. Mm. Uh, it might be because, uh, what was it, the band Nightwish in the mid 2000s? Yeah. Or within, or within Temptation, like mm. that gothy rock is no. making me think. That, I tied that to the goth tell line. No, I, I think that's a good one. It, it is a siren, so it makes sense. Yeah. Um, Where to next, James? Okay, let's go box. Go back to box two. Let's see. Oh no, sorry. Anything behind? Oh no, we we, we do have that as mm. an option. Okay, let's go one beside Dr. Grimer. Okay. The one beside I don't, think, I don't think we've uh, used too many of the early boxes. Hagendas. Oh, that's an ice cream. That's vanilla, surely. That's vanilla, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Well, um, where else we go next then? All right. Let's go box eleven. Yep. Okay, and uh, let's go opposite side of Caterpie, like middle, first column, middle row. Mm -hmm. Binky. That's a baby form. Mm. 
Okay. That's, that's who could be, who could Binky be? Um, Binky mind you, boy. Binky boy. Mine Junior. Oh, that's, that's, that's quite a that's quite a binky. Shout. Yeah. That's a great shout. Okay. Um, uh, although I'm gonna say Claffa. Claffa would be going actually. Yeah, that, that checks out. Okay. And last one. Last one. Let's go box fifteen. And uh, let's tr close out the square and let's see if we can get another Nidoran. Let's get the Nidorans together. Yeah. Okay. Like one of these things Tilly. is not like the other. Tilly. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go with the uh, Lilligant. Lilligant. Okay. All right. So. So what are we saying here? Incinerator. So, possibly Delta Fire. Delta okay, Fire's hold like... on, hold on. Actually, let's name it as something. Okay. So if I'm you were not, to... I'm not going to go Delta Form. Okay. But I'm going to say this is going to be Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil would be a good one, yeah. I think we have a Typhlosion already, so that would be a dupe. Um, if we're going by that logic then, Chuck, you know what, fuck, I'm going to go say Char Charmander. Okay, grand. Yeah. Uh, Temptation, I think I'll agree with you on that one. I think it's either going to be a Smoochum or a Gothita. Oh, Smoochum could be a good shout. Yeah, just a Siren of some kind. So. Yeah. Um, or a Mermaid, even, potentially. We don't have any Mermaid Pokemon. We do don't, we? no. So I'm trying to think. Anyway, so I think uh, I think Gothita would be the fair one there. Yeah, okay. Um, Hagen has to be the looks, surely. Has to be the looks. Yeah. Binky, I think... Uh, You've tried Mr. Mime, Ryan Jr. I'm agreeing with you on that, but as a contrarian, I'm going to say... Cleffa. Cleffa. Okay. And Tilly... Yeah, um, I'd say. Uh, what did you say there? Uh, Lilligant or Lilligant. whatever the first form of it is. Yeah, Pedalil. Yeah, Pedalil. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see so them. That's, 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 bets are in, and let's go. Let's go. Huh? Yeah. Huh? <gasps> okay. Might be. Well, okay. Look, we were correct yeah. in yeah. some ways here. Technically correct. Yes. The best kind of correct. <laughs> <laughs> Amber. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. So this is now going to be uh, temptation. Oh, oh stay of enough. course. Yeah, fair enough. That checks out. Fair enough. Mm. Don't like it, but fair no. enough. <laughs> I must say, there's a, that's the one we have at level 36. Okay. Oh, that's immediate evolving then. Mm hmm. Yeah. Can't, can't contain that. Now we officially have a Chabaka. I don't know why I'm bothering, to be honest. It seems like it would be perfect for having a further, like a regional with a final form, uh, with another final form to it. I reckon not. That's actually probably a Basically getting your zigzagoon treatment. Mm. And actually, it actually is quite a good candidate for a uh, for paradox form, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it isn't. No, it's not one of them. But that's the type of one they should take well, a look we at. Don't, like, at this stage, we don't know. We could get in DLC. Well, we do know and the DLC. We know some that are in the code for DLC. Oh, wait, what? We do. And the legendaries, too. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. When we're on our travels, I'll tell you all about it. So. Oh. <laughs> all right, Charbaka. Oh, I can't believe that much has been spoiled. Mm. That much has been leaked. Like, what? Not even... It's uh, in the code. No, that's not to say it's not the only ones. Okay, yeah. We were right in hagen one out of One out of three so far. <laughs> <laughs> and I've actually evolved as well. I don't think I've ever used a... Uh, the final ice cream form, like in a serious. It's a good ice type, but that's the thing. A good like, ice type is like mid to be to begin with. So yeah, the, it's the the moves themselves can be grand, and mm. the fact that most water types get most ice types. That's the thing. It makes it's basically the only use you get out of them. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but as an ice type itself, mm -mm. like why would you ever use an ice type when you can use another thing? Exactly. Yeah. Um, which is a pity. It is. That's why they're trying to. Like, they're, they're desperately trying to find good things to do with ice types. I mean, snob. The internet loved snob for a few weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they realised do we to fire? Do we to rock? Yeah, no. But it's now. cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Like that. That really was the selling point in snob. It really fucking was. <laughs> no, it's, it's a good selling point. It is. Oh yeah. It's all right, but fuck me, bug ice now. Nah, you're grand. Thanks. Hard pass on that. <laughs> no, it doesn't need nice stone or anything like that. It's just it does, like it does evolve. It. Fifty is what it takes. That's it. Forty nine, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Then this next one was ah uh, Binky. Harping. Fair. Okay, I mean it's in the name. Yeah. Didn't didn't really think of that. Like we no, both, didn't. We both jumped the exact same way of saying oh, it's a dodie. Yeah. And Tilly then. Okay, tilling the fields. I have tiller, yeah. That, that that's not the best nickname. No. So now we put them in, in boxes. So okay. Who do we like? Who do we not like? That's a that's a very generic bunch to be honest. Yeah. That's a. So I'm I'm going to put them. Um, 
Might I'm, be. I'm not giving uh, Arbuck the time of day. No, Arbuck, Arbuck is going time. is going straight there. Yeah, unless Arbuck got a new form in this. Yeah, we actually have Vinilux already, so that, um, that's that, a, that's a dupe. So okay, grand. We'll take the life form with that, and um, we can say goodbye. Yeah, grand. Bye bye. Off you pop, and then replace him with his uh, bigger brother. Yep. But luck here. Yeah. That's. I don't think there's any, I don't think there's too much lost on this. No. I think we. I'm pretty sure we have. Yeah, uh, we, we have we, the evolved. We have so. the evolved one already, so that can go as well. Yeah, we'll take the smooth rock off it though. Yeah, we can use that. And off you go. Lovely. And the Magby. Eh, we have a. We have quite a lot of fire types as it is. Yeah, we're not. We're not short on them. So. Mm. I would then. say. I'd say he'd. I, I wouldn't put him lower than a colleague. Hmm. No, but even there. But I don't think we'll ever be in a position where we're saying right. We need. We need uh, highly unlikely, her. yeah. And Carabin got probably put the same as well. I guess we wanted to be cheap, like evil, and put up screens and no. rocks and stuff. Like that. So no, we put them on tree. I, I, I don't think we care enough for that. No, we don't. Now, so that then leads us then to our next part of the adventure, James. So, Go on. right. So this is our team at, at the minute. Do we want to make changes before we head out? I mean, pan stage. I'm going to ask you, Gren, <laughs> and you're going to give me a fucking answer <laughs> that doesn't involve Pat Sage. Okay, where's my Uh, Dead. I know he's already dead to begin with, but he's dead to me now, and dead to this game. So, let's I, want, I want my Ambipom. <laughs> where's my elephant? <laughs> um, no, it's monkey. <laughs> where's my monkey? Where's my monkey? Now, so we ha this is our best friend at the minute. Okay, Do let's you see. I. Now, like you have mentioned this guy before. I did love the... You like the design the, of it? I love the design of it. Want to see what it looks like in its final form. It's a look class. Okay, so maybe we can put that so into... So many of the rest of these are great, but do we want to kick anyone out, kick anyone out mm. for them? Yeah, that's a question. Now, we do have Delta, we have the Metagross evolved, and we're trying to evolve Buccaneer into uh, Frac to Haxor, so we can keep him in for that time being, because he's close to it. Okay, I would get... Uh, temporarily... Temporary Eevee. Temporary Eevee? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah we don't need it for now. Anyway. We don't We don't need Eevee for now. And okay. I, I, I've enjoyed playing with the Eevee, but it is broken. It is very broken. So we don't need... We can deploy when we need to. Is anyone from the uh, Drinking Buddies you want to bring in? Who is that besides the Striker? That's uh, the Kabuto? Oh, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Um... Oh uh, no! Like we're, we're, we've we have enough pseudos. Yeah, we don't need any more pseudos for understandable. The yeah. So, but that uh, melodic version. That's the ghost one. Yeah. Do... We were a bit disappointed with that one in the end, weren't we? I don't think we got. I don't think I. I don't remember getting trying it properly myself. Yeah. Like it is only level eleven. Yes. At a point in the game where everything is much higher. We did get it in our first save file, and then we we kind of we were a bit um uh, nerfed with the. Uh, with the moves at the time, and it was underleveled, so it, it, always an option as well. But um, it was so, an option. But yeah, I'd go with the gold art for. I'd go with the gold art. Go with yeah. that's, that's, let's make friends with them for a bit. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's build them up a bit. Yeah, battle um, armor and choice band as well. Not so he's well. steel and fighting, is it? Fighting steel, yes. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I should actually remember another, another thing that's popped into my head there about the leaks. Um, there will be a new evolve form for Bisharp. I love it. Yep, samurai, samurai multi attorney. Oh no. Yeah. No, that doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Because now, he's a chess piece. He's a chess piece. You've got it, your pawn. Yeah. You've got your bishop. I think that is the leaker not getting like it's a mistranslation. I do think you probably. I think he's meant to look like a rook. So one person said rook. Okay. The other person said samurai. So. Okay. I okay. think it's just the head, the head, the head piece. Okay, that that's absolutely fine then. Yeah. But like it, it needs to stay as a. Oh wow! Look at this. Look at the moves there. Two What's priority that? moves. Let's see him. Let's see him. Mac punch, great bullet punch, fantastic. <laughs> no, and low sweep in our defence. Okay, so and no, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. what level does a uh, does a uh, Golak normally evolve at? Mid forties is what I remember, but I think a lot of people evolve mid forties in in Unova. So, bam, 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 bam. Here's Snorlax. Hey. Hey. Hello. Good morning. Hello. No, I'm just looking this up. Bum, 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 bum. Evolves at 43. That's not bad. We can. That's achievable. Yeah, but uh, he's only level 13 now. He is, but Which, we can. We can get there. We'll make there. Yeah. Um. But yes. Um. So well, anyway, uh, 
we have more um, future and past forms, you're saying? Yes. Or so, you, you, we know now some of the DLC we and do. things that are behind DLC. Let me try and, and, and rack my brain now over the ones I know of. So the past forms, I think, yep. are uh, Jigglypuff, uh, Among Us, or um, yeah, Among Us, I think, is one. Either a past or future, I can't remember. I think he's past. Uh, oh, hello. Okay, but that's, again, again that's, sorry, that's just a single form. Is it? It's not both fungus and among us. Among us, yeah, exactly. Yes, it's a single form, yeah. Like the, these are all single forms. You don't evolve okay. any points, so. Oh, sorry, and defeated. Very crazy. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. Oh, oh, plot. Yeah, plot about us. Uh-huh. Oh. One thing I love about doing these like a month or two in between mm. is I can't remember who these guys are. Yes. So that was, um, <laughs> that's the guy that's reading the Sky Cult. Yeah. Yarn, the out, uh, the, uh, Best trainer in the land, the land sent you out, the hero. Yeah, yeah. And that's Persephone, the cult of Dark Ride leader, who at the start of the game had his kidnapped and was going to kill us. Was it the Dark Ride leader? I thought that was the library uh, cult. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. No, this, this is from the start of the game. Okay. So, like, clearly I've misremembered a yeah. or two of this, so. We were broken out by Mew. Yes, I remember that. Mm. So we've met Mew, we've met Salaby. Yep. Have uh, we met any more? Shaman. We've met Shaman, that's yeah. right. And Shaman helped us uh, Shaman purify, has the purify, purify yeah. yeah. Um, so we haven't seen Jirachi yet. We haven't seen Manaphy, Fiony, or Victini. No. Uh, and this only goes up as far as Gen... Six, oh, no, so, we have so, Gen 6. So, so we... Hoopa. Does Hoopa get a little pixie one for this one? It does, yeah. Don't know why I was thinking. Oh, by the way, the GameStop at the minute has... I know they have distribution on, don't they, for a few? Vulcanian and all them? You get three. Mm. Uh, Vulcanian is one. Mm. Um, the Marshadow is another one. That yeah. You get. And there's a third one that I'm forgetting off. Keldeo? Could be Keldeo, I think, yeah. I think it's Keldeo. I went in on Thursday whenever I was in town. Yeah. Went in and got them there, just so you know that for yourself. Mm -hmm. And there is a worldwide distribution for a Shiny Eternatus. Yes, I've seen that, yeah. But I don't know, is that is Europe getting that at the minute or not? I think it's a yes, as far as I know. So I don't know how to get it then. Mm. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder no one likes him. Yep. Mm. Uh -huh. Questions. Right, so there's the plot. So, we heard all of that? We did hear all that, yes. So, um, on to the point of the past form. So... As far as other past forms are, um, obviously Don, Don Fan and Volcarona count as both, so they both have their own forms. Um, JD Puff, I think, is gonna be like your kind of your most basic form you'll find. Okay. Then I think uh, I mentioned Don Fan, so Don Fan has one of each. Yeah. As far as I know, Magneton gets a past form. Oh, okay. Yes. So again, no idea. Past what... form for a steel type, like that. That's, well, that's, a, that's this... always so strange. Like steel, it doesn't. Well, that's the thing. Like, so it's the, this is the thing you have to imagine. Like, this is gonna be completely. Alien, almost. This is why this did the, the, the jump in logic. Um, so uh, the other one they used, they they based off as well. So the hackers are making a point of calling, like, say, one like paradox Volcarona and one the paradox Larvesta. Oh. So the idea would be that essentially one has essentially evolved different to the other. So Salamence is one that's getting a pass form, for example, but mm -hmm. it, it's making a point that it's it's lost its flying status. Well, that's all that they uh, Bagon wanted. Yeah, it's like the one thing that what was Bagon like? Bagon runs off cliffs because it wants to fly. Yeah. Bagon ran off of cliffs until it learned how to fly. fly. <laughs> so that's so this is so. So this is just Dragon Ghost. Uh, <laughs> it's not actually. It's um, it is Dragon Dark Dragon apparently. Is what they say. Now, again, it's not great typing, no. but the reason for that is because Hydreigon gets different typing for his form. But again, they're making a point for his form that it's not Hydreigon, it's Vilus. So it's okay. a delta of that, or not delta, it's a paradox of that one. Okay. Yes. So, so what, it's still stuck in the two-head form? 
or potentially three. I'd say like yeah, potentially into two, and uh, could be down to as like it's a uh, it's beta design, you know, the kind okay. of tank thing. Yeah. So again, they're all different stats and so forth as well. So the past ones I think are in that order are would be Jigglypuff, Magneton, Don Fan. Uh, and but I was thinking that some of these are going to get held back for DLC. Uh, no, these are all in the game. Okay. So the seven, I think there's seven of each, uh, okay. basically in each game. And you basically work with what you have there. Okay. Um, the future ones, I know. The, I know there's one of the past ones I'm forgetting. I think it, it, it's it's uh, Hariyama. Hariyama oh. is a future form, um, with Amongus, Delibird, and uh, Donphan. The uh, pseudos to use is uh, Volcarona and Tyranitar. So Tyranitar is a future form, and is Tyranitar has gotten too much love. It's like I I, I yeah. love Tyranitar myself. Mm. But Tyranitar has gotten too much love. But I think that's the peak of the... Um, that would be the, the last, the, the most powerful one you'll find, I think. Okay. That's what they're, they're going with. So, that is a, that is the plan. Now, the, in terms of DLCs, the, there is going to be a... Oh, wow, Nine Tails, Jesus. Excuse me. Um, as far as, to my knowledge, there is going to be a uh, past form of uh, Suicune. Okay. And there's going to be a future form of uh, Verizon. Oh. Yes. I... Uh, uh, there's absolutely no indications of what they're meant to be, but they are basically, I suppose, they are the focal the focal points of the uh, DLCs themselves. That would be my fair, that'd be my guess. So, I guess more on the story as we get it, really. But um, yeah, that's the interesting thing. Um, oh, and there is a in, you mentioned new typings as well. We are going to get our first ghost fighting type. Oh, okay. And that is going to be a new evolved form of primate. Wait, ghost fighting is that not already Marshado? Uh, yes, I suppose so, but I suppose this is one that's more readily u available. Okay, great. Yeah. So, I, like, I, I think I got Marshado and it sat in the box. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. anything. So, yeah, the primal, apparently, the, uh, the how to evolve it is apparently very, very difficult. So, that's what the League were saying. But that's a, uh, we got, you're getting evolved from a prime ape in this okay. next game. And apparently, it's uh, <laughs> going by the dex entry. Yeah, it's pretty grim. But that's, that's neither here nor there. Wait, didn't this game give us an evolution for prime ape? Or was that the last one we played? Uh, that was, uh, yeah, that was Uranium. That, that was Uranium had, games. Yeah. So this one did not yet. <laughs> oh, no, that was good. Yeah, sorry, I should have remembered the art style. Mm. Yeah, there's a, va there's a big difference. <laughs> Absolutely. This is so much better, though. Yes. Swing. Animus. Oh. Now, wow. do I dare bring in Titan to Bullet? Oh, absolutely. Okay, let's do it. Let's risk it. 25 levels in the difference. Mac Punch. Boom! Oh, oh, so close. <laughs> oh, it was worth a shot. <laughs> worth a fucking shot. Absolutely. Anyway. Points for trying. Points for Exactly, <laughs> points for effort, yeah. I will get the XP out of it still, because uh, I am wasting level 50 golem on that. Fuck that shit. Anyway, but yeah, that's um, that's all I can remember at the top of my head anyway. But there's, uh, these, there's other things in the game as well, but definitely those three central gimmicks there. So you have the Terra style... Okay. Um, you have the the original fakes and you have the paradoxes. Okay. Those are the main things. I won't pretend that I know enough about Spain to have any kind of a guess as to what the plot is going to be. Because, yeah. like, outside of long old history of yeah. like, Muslim invasions or yes. semi recent history of mm. fascist leaders, yes. I don't know anything about Spain to. Like running of the bulls. That's why I'm saying like there's gonna be a run yeah. of the torals. Well, well, that's the thing. Like it's it like it took the cultural shifts. I suppose were different in a sense where you were expecting. You made the point there. You were expecting something else for a game set set in the UK. Yeah. I mean, think about it. For a game that was also set in France and X and Y, it didn't really tilt into the um, they into led much fairly heavily on. This is the site of a war. That happened. That yes. Ravaged the land. But that you can say that for most of Europe, though. That's what I'm saying. But like France was the battlefield of World War One. It was absolutely. So they, they leaned on that in particular yes. as a cultural point. Yes. In England, what was the cultural points? Curry and football stadiums. I mean, that's not not fucking great. But it was meant to be. Oh, Mukip. Also, clearly they never went to England. Nobody fucking camps <laughs> unless you're a homeless. Exactly. Yeah. Ah, oh, Titan was too harsh. Damn it. But yeah. That's um that's either here or there, but I think for Spain there's certainly um I don't know if there's any story elements into it. Like certainly from the mini from the gimmicks that they're putting in, you wouldn't put attribute them down to Spain and uh, or well uh, Spain it's, it's calling it just Spain is, un is unfair. It's the Iberian Peninsula. It's Spain it's Spain Portugal they're basing it on. Okay. 
in the same way that it was France, it was very clearly northern France. It was Britannia, yeah. So, like, there was hopes that Britain there would be Ireland. DLC, which would be southern France. There was hopes that there would mm. be anything like that, and none of that came to pass. So it didn't, no. That's what I'm kind of thinking with this. Is it going to be a case that we're going to have... Um, we're going to have like DLC in the Basque region. Are yeah. we going to have like just as an example I, I'm talking through me whole here. I'd say it's Spain more like has, the islands. Spain yeah. has islands. Spain yes. has the Canary Islands, Spain mm. has the Madeira Islands. And or, Gibraltar as well, if you and want to the go that far, yeah. Islands are Portuguese, I think. Or yes. something yo, know, along those lines there mm. are islands that could be explored. Yes. Now I think that's um, more likely than anything else really because I think the way I I would be kind of perceiving it, and again, this is only my perception of it. I think they they probably will do something like the way Galar was done with a, okay, here's what areas have we not included so far? We're not able to yeah like um, naturally make from what we had. But like they kind of they're they're kind of contriving a snowy area in this because they kind of have to. They need a snowy area oh, yeah. for for certain Pokemon to to appear. But for everything else, like okay, we need natural like. Uh, a bespoke area if that's just for this for these type of Pokemon, this yeah. type of gimmick we're doing. So I think that will come to pass. Like they will do like uh like like with Paldea they need something like, you know, like like it doesn't say they can do something very kind of uh rainforesty, let's say. Yeah. Or something very more like a desert. You, well, you can do something like that. So explore, it's so open world explorable. Yes. There's absolutely opportunity well, that's, for that. Well, that's the argument for it. It's the same where like they can give them just a completely different sense of uh, change of scenery. And I think that's the that'll be the main cutting trust of the of the DLC. I'm trying to think the main map that we have for it. Yeah. Has basically Madrid as the center city. Yeah, that'd be a fair. Uh, I think it's in Madrid or Barcelona. I can't remember. Barcelona's I think in real life is off to the east. It is, but the actual town I think is based is inspired by Barcelona. Or at least the cathedral, the big mm. cathedral in Barcelona yeah. is the is the area. But you are right though what you're saying, like geographically it's Madrid. Yeah. Well, hello Brian. We're just talking about you. Hmm. Um but yeah that's a uh, that's that. That's the the the, the point of, the point of contention at the minute is in what um what to do with it. I'd like to think they will give us a good plot. There are. I'm not having great hope. Like I'm. Yeah. Look I, at this stage. I'm what thirty one and I'm still playing these. So yeah. No. We're, we're not... At this stage, I think I'm going to say like yes, I'll play it no matter what it is. Ah yeah. Look, I mean, it's it's our own kind of like um hopes as well in a sense of like having a game that intrigues the walls but hopefully it's something good yeah um, like or, Arceus was a, such a step in the right direction it was now that's the thing like where do you want to get those type of plots in that type, level of game or do you want them in the main games I think that's a that's another conversation to oh, have yeah. because in a weird way I'd rather Arceus stays in his lane a little bit and make, becomes its own um, franchise sub, yeah subset of games because I think there's a certain experience you're getting from that that I don't think you should be getting in the main game. But that's just me personally. That's yeah. just me, like with my designer hat on, going, no, no, let's keep the originality. This this original idea we have, let's keep it to them, these guys, because they got something good going on here. This is the idea of a franchise. Yes and no. Rather than like, treating it as at, a tech test. You look at Mystery Dungeon, and mm. it's been a, it's a dead franchise now. Oh, it, it totally is. But that's down to running out of the not evolving as well. Like it's mm. not even wrong. The first two Mystery Dungeon games are absolutely sublime. But then it just fell off a cliff with the actual quality of yeah. the games. That was the difference. I don't think it had anything to do with really us changing or whatever it is, or the mm. game, the the uh, the technology changing. Because it's a very DS game. We yeah. know this. Because like you said, have a Ranger. Ranger was never going to go any further. Never than played the DS. Ranger. It was grand. It was a very small, singular game. Didn't have much else going on with it, but mm. it was a good gimmick. That's all it was. It was a game based on a gimmick. Yeah. Mystery Dungeon wasn't that. It was a game that was very character oriented, yes. and I think the what well, the reason why it failed was because it kind of just lost its its quality of writing went down a lot. Okay, and I think it's because it got dumbed down and people people started coming towards it because they saw oh this certain game is really good. I must try mm. it out. And then I think they just got the the willies down when they realized oh there's a lot more people playing these games now. We have to make a more general story and make more general gameplay to sell more. It's like so I had no. gotten one of the DS games and then the Switch remake of the first one was yes. what I played. And that was, which is very good by the way. I really mm. like that one. Uh, but again, it could have had DLC. It could have had a life to it. Yep, it that could they have. weren't interested in giving it. No, because I think that at that point they just got the money. That's the thing. Like, there's, 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 different, there's, a, there's a different strategy between putting out a Pokemon game to cash in and then putting out, putting out a Pokemon game that you're passionate about. Mm. And I think that, that was what that's what changed with Mystery Dungeon because that was clearly a passion project, in my opinion, to be yeah. 
because they were there was there was a story being told, a very evident story being told. Yeah. Um, and ultimately, it was told. They they did it. Mm-hmm. Mission accomplished. And then that was it, because like at that point you can't really keep doing this pluck the heartstrings type of story each time yeah, before people get, get repetitive yeah. of it. So in a way they had to to change, but they didn't know how to. Where what was yeah. the next step on from that? Um, that's what I think what really kind of let them down because they didn't really. I don't need really realize it to be this successful to the extent where it's now a prominent game that people want to check to check out. Yeah. And they just didn't know where to go from there. So I think that's the combination. I don't think you'd have ever had anyone introduced to the series through the Mystery Dungeon games. No, it isn't. It, it Whereas is. you could have someone introduced to the series through Arceus. Absolutely. And like, I yeah. could see somebody being introduced to the series having skipped the Pokemania of the well, 90s. Well, I'll put it this way. Well, I'll give you an example. My girlfriend Kira played Arceus. So Sammy played Arceus. She mm-hmm. bought it herself. She's enjoying it. Not necessarily yeah. a big Pokemon fan, but she yeah. likes the aesthetic she likes the idea of it she likes the whole principle of it this yeah. thing it doesn't you don't have to be a pokemon fan to enjoy arceus yeah. it is perfectly fine by itself um now that being said you do want to want it to be almost like a springboard so that would probably lean into what they would want to do with if they do bring out a second game how would they want to springboard it into the main games and the yeah. rest of what they're doing so they, yeah. that will come part of their thinking and that's that's not down to designers. That is down to corporate saying. So should this be a this game, Should this be a game freak game going forward? Yes. Or should this go to a third party and leave Game Freak to do the main series? My point of view would be: don't fix what isn't broken. If 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 RCS is such a hit, except like they refuse to hire more people. Yes, they were. So the like more the they split their time, the mm. more split the project is. And if this is a franchise that demands yearly output, yes, 